Well, welcome to Budget Outlaws, and today we're going to do a little trailer work and do some updates and see what we can get done. Boy, these tires, I, we had to change the tires out. They were wasted, but they've been on there for so long that uh, this one just did not want to come loose. Well, I finally gave up and brought them down to uh, Walmart where I bought the tires online from Walmart, and they wouldn't even put them on. I got him to take the old rim the tires off the rim, which was just the one that had a problem. And then I took them home, mounted them up. That was the easy part. So that part's done. Now I'm taking them back off the car because if you remember, these this trailer was extremely high in the back. All the engine weight is off. The tranny, the exhaust, all of that extra weight is gone. So the springs are just setting way too high. So I pulled off the uh, frets and I took them over to the bench and decided to cut them down a bit. Took out first a coil and a half and then another half a coil. So two full coils. And we'll see, it still has tension, so it's got more I could take out if I need to. Okay, that wasn't quite enough, so I'm going three coils this time. Oh, okay, and this will be one full coil. That's two, that's three. Three coils. So that's what the good ones look like. They have a little pin there to catch it. And they're quality so that they don't bind up. But at least now it's not have a gap. The tire is up inside the fender. There's the top of it. So it's a good inch inside there. Let's see what this side is. And this is this thing. Yeah, I'd say they're pretty close. Much better. Today in the shop we're doing a little bit of uh, tool hacking. And specifically my uh, cheapo welder and a cheapo foot pedal for the TIG. So this particular device is a uh, arc welder, dig welder, and a cutting torch. And so it comes with different cables. Depending on the, the job that you're gonna do. And here's the, the other one. And it doesn't do any of them really well, but it seems to work. And the problem with this is that the foot pedal for this one is, I don't know what that is, it's like 10, 8, 10 pins and the foot, the foot pedal um, pin outs is only a 5 pin. Well, fortunately, I found, yes, a YouTube video that shows how to do this. So this is what I'm going to try today and see if I can't get this to work. I do have the 5 wires that were shown in the video. And the colors so that's a good sign so this is from the video I found on YouTube and I'll put a link down below so you can see it as well so this just turns it on and off so that means I need to get into this to be able to pin out the rest of these wires so let's so the cable that came with it only has uh, two wires connected, which was basically the on and off side. And these first couple of solders are those same connectors, and they are the on and off connectors for the foot pedal. 
and then on the other side the brown and red those are the variable um, wire connections okay so after getting all the soldering done we put a little shrink wrap on it and heated it up and I had to put it in sections to because <laughs> I didn't have any long pieces but it it works So finally it was time to test it out. Would it actually work? And yes it did. Once I finally got all the welder settings correctly, it, it does work. Now one of the gotchas to this is that the, uh, there's, two, there's two settings. Uh, here's my great TIG welding skills. There's two settings on the uh, welder. One is machine and one is foot pedal. Well, the foot pedal basically controls it from 0 to 200 amps. And the machine uses the dial, so you can't have both. So, it's just, it's just the way it is. So, I will learn to use it as best I can, and in any way I can. So it'll be fun to get some TIG practice in. I got a bunch of old tubing, so I'll practice on that because the whole idea is to, to make some exhaust. All right, so my finished product for uh, trying out the TIG. Do a little practice. So this is a uh, just basically a dolly for the front of the trailer. So this is really rough and it's out of scrap garbage and my welds are bad and everything else but it'll work and it gave me some practice. So it just slides up underneath there like that, kind of locks in and I just put a bolt on there to, to hold it. So tighten the bolt down and it's pretty solid and now I can move this just about any direction that I want to go. I've got another race coming up this weekend, so uh, that's about all I'm going to get done before the race, and then we'll start tearing into it and doing uh, a deeper trunk so I can get more stuff in there. And elongate it, make it come up here where the tires are, and things like that. I'll change this front bar a little bit so it's not sticking out so much so that's about all for the trailer so stay tuned for some more projects uh, we finished up the 944 and so we brought in a new 944 so this one we've had for a while but it needs some updates and uh, we're not done with the 1.8 T and what more power yeah, stay tuned for this one. This is going to be good. And wow, over a thousand subscribers. <laughs> we really didn't think it was going to go this far. We really appreciate your interest, and we hope we can provide interesting content. And I think we got some great stuff in store. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll catch you the next time.